Yo, it's Lux from Server Pro, and welcome to this tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to install and use the custom Ender Chest plugin. This is a simple plugin which allows you to create different sized Ender Chests based on permissions. It also allows the player to use a command to open the Ender Chest. It supports NBT data, different names for different level chests, and more. To install the plugin, head over to the plugin section, go over to the spigot tab and type in custom ender chest like so. Install the version that is compatible with your server and restart. Alternatively, you can download it from the plugin page and upload it into your plugins folder manually. As you can see, I've also got a permissions plugin installed to show you how the different levels of the ender chests work. I have two groups set up on the server, the default group and the admin group. Currently, I'm using the account which is in the default group. This group has the permission to use slash EC open to open their ender chest. As you can see, it's a level one ender chest because that's how I set it up in my permissions. If you open an actual ender chest, it will be the same level one ender chest as well. So with the slash EC open command, this plugin can basically work as a backpack plugin as well. If you don't want to, you don't actually have to give the permission for that command and only rely on the actual ender chests. Now if I switch to the account which has the admin role and the permission to the level 6 ender chest, you can see that the size of the chest is different. Each level adds a row of slots. And that's basically how the plugin works. Now let's go see what we can change in the config. Locate the config in the plugins folder. Here at the top, you will be able to change how the plugin saves the files. For example, you can enable MySQL if you like. Below are some settings, like if the plugin should support modded NBTs, you can disable the actual ender chest opening, which is useful if you want players to only open the ender chest using a command. And finally, you can disable the sounds for this plugin. Lower here, you are able to change the title for each of the ender chest levels. So if you want to have specific names for different levels, you can do that here. And even lower, you can change the messages for this plugin as well. And that's about it. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any plugin suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. And if you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.